Alright, so this is a 50 caliber pen kit from Rockler. I think they run about seven or eight bucks. And this is probably relatively the easiest pen kit that there is to do. You only have to turn down an inch and three sixteenth piece, as you can see right there. Roughly inch and a half. You can go a little bit bigger, but inch and three sixteenths symmetrical wise for an actual bullet looks pretty good. So I'm just marking it out here. I already cut it. And that's a little jig I made to hold it, hold the pen blanks when I drill them. And it's a 7mm drill bit for this pen kit, same as all the slimline pens. Now, there's no audio because my mic's still messed up on my iPod that I use. And just scuffing up the tube and glued into the blank. You want to swirl it around, make sure you get it in there evenly. This is just a little accelerator because I have no patience. A little tip flew off right as I sprayed it, so now it comes out like a hose. But that's about it. This is Paduke that I'm using. And then to turn this, you got to add extra bushings to center it so you can get the, the um, little tightening piece on there all the way. Nut, mandrel, whatever you want to call it. And I had to run back and grab the bullet because you want to make sure you turn down the back side flush with the tip of the bullet. And then this chisel is actually on sale right now at Rockler for 30 bucks. So I, if I were you and you got some extra cash and you want to have a nice carbide chisel, I would definitely go get this one from Rockler. It's a square tip, works nice. You see right here I'm just sizing it up to match the same thickness as the bullet itself. And it's an actual real bullet shell from a 50 caliber. And in real time this only took I'd say about a minute and a half to turn that down. And just sanding it. Still has some uneven spots so I want the heavier grit right here real quick. And I switch back to the 400 to finish it. You turn it off and go side to side to get rid of the swirl marks. And that's just some alcohol cleaning, just to clean it up and get all the dust off. And I just finished all my pens with boiled linseed oil. It leaves a fairly nice natural finish to it. It's got a decent shine, not too bad. So I'll go through, I'll apply some, buff it, apply another coat buff it and apply another coat until I like the way it looks. A nice hardwood doesn't take as many coats as a softer wood because it doesn't soak it up as fast. And that's it. The entire turning process, sanding, finishing, took roughly, well, I don't know, two and a half, three minutes to do the whole thing. And that's my pen press I made. I'll leave a link in the description of how to make it. It's pretty simple. It was just an old screw clamp. And whenever you're doing pen kits, make sure you do the tip first. Because if not, you're going to run into trouble trying to turn it, put in the transmission. Alright, so on these, you can see there's a little line right there. You don't want to go past that line when you're putting these into the tubes. Otherwise, it'll mess up the entire process. You won't really have a functioning pen. You will, but it won't come in and out properly. Now, this is about my seventh or eighth pen, so I figured I know a fair amount about them, so I can go ahead and explain the process. Now, this is a coupler piece that goes into the shell so that the rest of the pen can screw into it. And you just want to make sure you got everything nice and flush. And that one's actually pretty hard to get into there. And here, that, that goes on last. You don't put that in the pen or in the shell. You put it on the pen first. Don't forget the ink. Make sure it works. And then you put on the sleeve that screws onto the coupler. It's got a nice friction fit. And it screws together and that's about it. You got a pretty cool looking 50 caliber pen. And there it is. 
Uh, thanks for watching, and enjoy the weekend.